day 7:15 this Saturday morning, 59 degrees, a little bit of a chill in the air. But coming up in just a few weeks is one of the most unique fundraisers in the tri-state. Artists create works of art and then they're immediately auctioned off. It helps the Beringer Crawford Museum in Davu Park. And here to tell us about this special event are Kevin Minty and Susan Jackson. It sounds like such a neat event because these um, artists are really creating everything the day before their auction, correct? Right, uh, we do have a silent art aspect um, as well where the work is created beforehand, but we have the fresh art which is created the Saturday before the event. And this year we're having our 25th anniversary and so we're actually having the main gala on Sunday. So we're giving the artist overnight to um, have, it, have it finished and then we're bringing all the silent art pieces and the fresh art pieces to the Dries Pavilion for the auction, gala, and dinner, um, and uh, the grand finale, so. And there are so many artists that they really is a lot to choose from. You can really add some very mm -hmm. unique pieces to your collection. Yeah, there's over 25 artists that are going to be making work specifically for this 25 an 25th anniversary, and they're going to be painting plein air, so they'll be in Davout Park making artwork, and then some of that work is still going to be wet while it's on the walls. So it's a really great opportunity for someone to snatch up a good bargain on a, on a piece of art. And how can people go to this event? Uh, well, we will um, be selling tickets online or um, the, the gala is $75. It includes dinner and um, we'll have um, all the, the events at the Dries Pavilion, 4 to 8 p.m. on the 17th of September. Uh, so you can buy it off the web page. We'll have um, hopefully um, a spot here mm -hmm. to show them the address, um, or you can mail in a, um, and you know your payment, whatever you want to do. But we'll we'll put the information uh, up on the screen if if you don't mind, so that uh -huh. people can uh, get their tickets. There it is, and we'll get that information on our website as well, local12.com. But this is all done for a great cause. It is, uh, we do, we fund the uh, children's programs at the museum and what we've um, funded, I think it's um, over- A quarter million quarter of the million. area's wow. children have and had these programs brought to them or they've come to the Beringer Crawford Museum to- And to, what are some them. of those programs? They're um, cultural, uh, we, we teach them, we have something in the back of the museum called Nature Play. We teach them about um, indigenous plants. We ha teach them archaeology. We teach them uh, transportation and um, like paddle boats. We have an actual um, uh, streetcar from the mm. eight, late 1800s. So we, we show them through example and hands-on. We have a great train uh, collection so that they can um, learn by seeing and doing. We have a paddle boat. Um, exhibit and right now our uh, special exhibit is on the Korean War mm -hmm. so uh, that has been really impactful for some of the people that were actually in Korea they came and got together and uh, experienced the um, exhibit together and uh, were really moved by it. Yeah, so. just amazing. And a great way to help a great cause, add some art to your collection and get some fresh art. And actually, Brandon, today would be a great day to paint outdoors, right?